Well, that was a very nice surprise. I actually thought that these adapters, these manifolds uh, for the carburetors, I thought they were um, some composite alloy and not brass. And that's why I was very interested in this one for the Comet. But actually, as you saw, as I was rubbing them down, make sure that those uh, flats are very square, um, they're brass. And so what I did, just got the weighing scales out and sure enough, there's a solid brass one off the Comet, 7.2 ounces. There's the one that just came off, 7.2 ounces. And then this is the rear one, it's a little lighter, 6.6, .6. but they're solid brass um, and obviously painted at some point, uh, which I understand was the standard practice back then. Even the carburetors were painted in for some years. So I'm going to put those right back on. I've just buffed them up. They look quite nice, don't they? So they're going to go back on. That's going to go on my Comet. Yeah, one other thing that you may have noticed is these paper gaskets were not included on the bike when I took the adapters off. So they came with a carb kit. They're super thin paper gaskets, as you can see. And so I'll be refitting those to the adapters when I put them back on the bike.
So before I reassemble this upper frame member, I'm going to take a look inside using the little bore scope camera. Um, feed it through here and let's take a look around inside if we can. I'm not even sure how far we can get with the camera just to see if we can see if there's a, a sludge buildup or not. I'm hoping that it's relatively clean. So we'll take a look with the camera and then we can start reassembling this upper frame member. Thank you. 